Hello, Internet. My name is Andy Schatz, and I'm the developer behind Monaco. And I'm Andy Wynn, producer and level designer. So we're going to be showing you a full level playthrough of one of the later levels in the first campaign. Um, I'll be playing the hacker uh, while we're breaking into the casino in Monte Carlo. And I'm going to be the pickpocket. So the hacker's there in green. Um, I'm going to pick up the tranquilizer crossbow, which I can use to knock out guards silently. Pickpockets in yellow, and I go for the trauma kit, which allows me to heal myself and allies instantly. So the hacker's primary ability is that he can hack uh, security devices quickly. He can also send viruses out into the world, which um, will hack those security devices. You can see the ones that are already green, which means I already hacked them. The pickpocket is a hobo with a pet monkey, and the pet monkey allows him to pick up coins, which normally would be difficult to get. Hold on, I'm about to use my crossbow, because that guy's got me cornered. <laughs> So we got two floors to go. And on this floor, there's a prize display in the middle of the casino. And uh, as a hacker, I'm going to spend a lot of energy trying to get in there and get that safe. But uh, in the end, it's going to turn out to be a little too much for me to get in there. So eventually, we're going to just bail on it. And here I yeah. think we were sitting there thinking to ourselves, is there any way we can get back no. in that safe room? It's not worth it, man. <laughs> <laughs> These pressure plates up ahead, they turn off when you sneak because they sense your motion, so we have to sneak across them to avoid sending them off. And up to the next floor. So, see that little door with the hand on it there? It's got an alarm. You can see it's blinking red. We're going to have to find a way through it. Really, for these two characters, the only way through that particular door is for me to find an outlet um, at which I can create a virus, which will hack the, the alarm on the door itself. Um, unfortunately, there's none in this main piano lounge, and uh, I believe we keep trying to get down this hallway, but as you'll see, uh, I'm always kind of full of guards. <laughs> so at this point, shoot the guard, <laughs> shoot the guard, <laughs> screw the alarms and run for it. The shotguns. Yep, so we're swapping out our gear for shotguns here. You can only carry one type of secondary gear at a time. So the hacker's ability is not just used for turning off electronics, it also will shut off lights, which uh, you know it makes things darker and uh, basically makes things sneakier, makes it easier to sneak around the level. It's always good to have some viruses following you around anyways, just in case there are security devices around. I'm crawling through the tunnels in the wall right now. <laughs> so um, the secondary uh, gear like the the guns um, it costs 10 ammo every time or 10 10 loot every time you use one Yeah, I think I'm gonna get an ammo real soon Just another shot right there so he gets another shot on a shotgun it dings every 10 you pick up 
And now we are going to head back up. Oh, I'm going to use my viruses that I've created to, to go. Oh, actually, I'm going to create a virus so that I can open that door. I'm going to bring it over there. Ding. On a floor. On a floor. So there's the trophy. That's the objective. That's what we're trying to get. And uh, it's time for me to shine. There's a ton of guards around the trophy, and the monkey can grab it without anyone noticing. So I just kind of sneak in, let the monkey do his work, and no one will ever notice. So now that we have the trophy, it's time to escape. I saw the helicopter on the top floor. I think we're going to take that. And hell, we have extra shots left on our shotgun. Oh, yeah. So, internet, that's it. Per your request, a full level playthrough. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, can't wait to get this thing in your grubby little hands.